Hi guys, in the previous video, uh, we saw how to control the order of execution or to decide whether that a particular uh, module or a driver needs to be dispatched or not uh, with the help of PPIs, right? So now in this today's video, we'll see how to handle Okay, suppose a total five we have. Okay, and uh, in the uh, module B, uh, we have suppose say uh, same similar to that one, two, three, four function calls we have. Okay, so now when the driver A is going to be executed, so the function A will get called, function one will get called, function two, three, and so on. Right, so now for example, assume this particular step four, right. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to delay this calling of this function based on certain criteria and then I'm going to execute the file. Meaning, so when I call this driver A, so it should call function 1, function 2, function 3 and this function 4 should be notified based on certain condition. Okay, and then function 5 should be get called. Okay. And now, so since uh, that uh, num uh, function four we are uh, notifying here, right? So, so that condition, right? So, some for example, that condition is meeting. Suppose say after the step one, so that condition is going to meet here. Okay. So whenever that condition is going to meet, so this driver, the PI core is going to call the notify events, and then so function after function one get called it will call this notify function which is coming from the driver a and then once it's going to complete then two three four is going to call okay so let's see from the code okay i will open the edk2 demo so i'm going to open the same code which we have where we left okay so Okay, so now, so we need still the PPI. We can use the same grid or we can create the new one. So let's use the same one for now. So this uh, driver path we are adding in the DSC file, driver path we are adding in the FDF file after the firmware volume PI. Okay, so now in the firmware volume PI, so we commented, so let's keep as is. And here also we commented, let's keep it as is. Okay, so here we are installing uh, uh, a PPI, right? So let's remove this PPI here. Okay, so which is not needed for now. I will remove this as well. Okay, so now this is also not needed from the flash map. I'm going to remove. So now simply uh, we have a driver. So now this driver is dependent on this DPX, right? So let's make it as a simple driver, which is true. Okay, so now when this program is going to execute, this driver will get called. Okay, so now inside this driver, so now I will say entry. Okay, and exit. Okay, so now uh, whenever this entry point is getting called, so we used to print two uh, debug messages, right? So now, so since this driver can do anything, so in the in our case, let's install that PPI, right? Right. So now I will copy this code, which is not needed from this case. OK. So I'm going to paste this in this file. OK, so I can uncomment. OK, so now what is the other file change here? So we used to install that PPI, right? So let's install that PPI here. OK. 
so now what our driver is going to do so our driver is going to get called and it used to print the entry message and then it will install the ppi and then it will exit and it will return the success okay so let's build it just to confirm pdk setup build i believe uh, we should get the error yeah so here so in the pa sample driver line number 23 we got the error so these are the api sample driver so line number 23 so this ppi it does not know how to understand this grid so we have to add this section right so i'm going to copy this so this i'm going to remove so under this ppis we have to add that so now this is not needed i'm going to remove and this is a ppi so we can we are going to uh, produce right so this driver is going to produce this ppi so i'm going to add a comment saying produces so now let's build it. Okay, yeah, so you can see build is successful. Let's confirm the boot as well. Build i32 vs19 i32. So I'll open the command prompt here. Win host redirect to boot.log. Redirect everything. Okay, so it is booted to UFI shell. So let's close it. Let's open the uh, boot.log build folder i32. Uh, so here we have the boot.log, and this is our firmware volume PI. And then our uh, PI sample driver got dispatched. And here you can see. So here we have this uh, uh, driver uh, getting entry point getting called, and then the exit is also happening. In between, uh, we are installing a PPI. Okay. So now let's trigger some events. Maybe suppose in the firmware volume PI. So whenever there is uh, this PPI is getting installed, we'll call a function from this uh, uh, firmware volume PI. Okay. So we'll go to this firmware volume PI. Okay. So let's create a notify event. Okay. Notify descriptor. Okay. So first we had to create a function declaration. Suppose say so that function uh, is going to return the status so efi underscore status and then we have to use the efi api for the gcc and the microsoft compiler and then the functioning so pi sample driver notify okay and this is going to uh, uh, take three input arguments one is efi pi services Okay. PI services. And the second input argument is the notify descriptor EFI underscore PEI notify descriptor. And then notify descriptor. Okay. So let's make it alignment. Okay. And the third argument is a void, which is a PPI. Okay. So this is our function declaration. Okay. So now let's create our notify event. Okay. So EFI PI notify descriptor. Okay. So I am uh, PI uh, maybe sample driver notify descriptor okay so it is going to be same as the earlier descriptor but the first argument instead of uh, uh, the descriptor ppi so we have to use the uh, notify ppi okay so efi pa ppi descriptor notify callback because uh, uh, we are going to call a function whenever that PPI is going to install, and then we have to give the terminator list EFI PI PPI terminator list. Okay, and the second argument is a GUID. So, what is our GUID name? That PPI, so PI sample GUID. Okay, so the address of that GUID, and the third argument is the function name. So this is our function name. 
Okay, so this is done with our notify descriptor. Okay, so now wh what is the function definition of this? So we have to write. So let me write it. So maybe let's print something, right? So debug debug underscore info some keywords bios debug message from notify from firmware volume pi okay so this is our uh, function okay so now so here you can see this function is should return the efi status right so let's return that return efi underscore success okay so we created a function declaration which is going to accept the arguments pi service notify descriptor and a ppi and then we created a notify descriptor so where we used to provide the callback so in the in the part one uh, we provided this P, uh, ppi right notify descriptor ppi so now we are going to provide the callback okay so this callback it is coming from the uh, pi cis dot h okay and then uh, here we should use the semicolon okay okay so now uh, uh, so we created a function so which is a notify and uh, we are simply printing some message from this notify event okay so now let's install uh, let's notify this ppi right so so this is our notify descriptor. I will copy this. So maybe I'm going to notify this here. Or maybe let's do it at the end. Or maybe let's do it at the beginning itself. Okay. So PA service notify PPA and then the address of the descriptor. Okay, so now the notify is going to happen from here. So meaning first we used to call debug, uh, we used to print this message and we will notify this that whenever this PPI, the line number 2900, so whenever this PPI is getting installed, as soon as it gets installed, call this function, which is our function, which is which is to print the some debug message. Okay, so now here we need that PPI, right? So what is the PPI name? This one, okay. So here I'm going to here I will say notify. Okay, so it's just for informative purpose only. Okay, so now let's build it. Hopefully there won't be no build errors this time. Okay, yeah, it is build is successful. So let's open the command prompt when post. Redirect it to boot1.log this time. Redirect everything. Okay, so it is booted. So let's close this. Let's see the build uh, boot1.log. Okay, so here you can see uh, this driver got loaded and then our PA, our driver got loaded. And then our Unix firmware PI loaded. And then here you can see register PPI notify. So where this message it is coming. So earlier if I compare, right? So let me do this split screen. Okay. So here you can see, let me make it aligned. Yeah, now it is aligned, right? So now here you can see here we don't have that uh, message and here we have this uh, notify event message, right? So where this uh, uh, highlighted notify event it is coming from. So in the uh, firmware volume PI, so here you can see I'm calling this uh, PI service notify, right? So this function is registering a notify event with this GUID, meaning so whenever this GUID is getting installed, that PPI is getting installed, so it will call this notify driver function, okay? And then let me go back to this uh, boot one lot boot dot log. Okay. And then our PI sample driver got loaded. And here you can see. So we have our uh, PI entry point, which is coming from this our uh, sample driver. And then here we are installing that PPI. So this PPI, which is having a simple null, right? So this is a descriptor. Okay. So here we can see 
install PPI. So as soon as we install that PPI, so here you can see, so there is a notified trigger is going to happen. Okay, so here you can see, so this notified trigger is going to happen from this module. Okay, and here you can see debug message from notify event. It came. Okay, so let me make it new line. Okay, so this this message came. So where this is this message is came. So this message is came from the firmware volume PA. Okay, meaning so this notify event. So as soon as we install this uh, PPA, so whatever the notify events associated with this quit, it get called. Okay, and then our uh, uh, exit method uh, exit uh, message got printed. Okay, uh, on a high level. So what exactly it is done? So if I go back to this firmware volume PA, right? So here assume this is a step one, step two, step three, and step four. So this step three, sorry, this step two, we are just delaying based on a criteria. That what is that criteria? So that criteria is this PPI should be installed. As soon as that PPI is getting installed, we used to call uh, so that the EDK will call this uh, notify event. Okay, so uh, if uh, uh, okay, uh, that's it for today. Thank you.